much. Thank you so much. Yeah, we've had a great year this year. Richard did have to get a part-time job for a while. And he was working down near the Philadelphia Zoo. And one day he was on his lunch break, sitting out in front of the zoo in his old pickup truck. So he's sitting there eating his lunch. A pig truck in front of him pulled out, and one of the pigs fell out right there in front of him. He just calmly got out of his truck, went over and picked the pig up and put it in his truck. Goes back to eating his sandwich. Policeman pulled up there a little while later. Walks up to him and says, Sir, I suggest you take that pig over to the zoo. Richard, being a law-abiding citizen, he said, I'll do that. The next day, he's back there at the same spot eating his lunch. Had that pig sitting up there in the, pit, in the truck with him. That same policeman came up. Walked up to him and said, Sir, didn't I tell you to take that pig to the zoo yesterday? He said, I did, officer. He loved it. Today we're going to the movies. <laughs> it is what it is. He's a bass player. <laughs> How about some more Reno style stuff? Why don't come up and do that one and uh, sing one here? Do a Don Reno number on the, on the banjo there for you. All right, I'd like to uh, send this out to some dear friends of mine. Uh, is Brenda Yates and Kevin Yates, uh, Kevin Cohen out there? I mean, Brenda Yates Cohen, where is she? There they are. Stand up a minute. Stand up a minute. This is a, how many people remember Bill Yates of the country gentleman fame? Well, that's his daughter and his son-in-law right back there. And uh, that's two special people in my life. And uh, thank you so much. And uh, I had a privilege of uh, ministering at uh, her dad's funeral. And it, it's a moment I'll never forget. It was a precious time. They're precious people. Go up and meet them, shake and howdy with them. There's some fine, different people here. Uh, they moved down here from up, up country and they're enjoying it. Here's what I'd like to do for uh, everybody out there, the ones that had asked for the Don Reno uh, style music. And I'm, this is a song that uh, his, Ryan's daddy used to sing to him all the time. I hope you enjoy it. One entitled, I Wouldn't Change You If I Could. If I could, the way you are just suits me to a T. A princess in a storybook, rain upon a throne. That's what you are, you would all to be. I wouldn't change you if I could. I love you as you are. You're all that I would wish for. If I wished upon a star You're an angel sent from heaven You're everything that's good You're perfect just the way you are We can't do it by So much. Uh, that's an old Don Reno and Red Smiley. How many Don Reno and Red Smiley fans we have out there? I know. I know. Yeah. We get asked a lot of times to do Don Reno and Red Smiley, and uh, we actually did a tribute uh, to Don and Red one time up there in Maryland. Had a great time. As soon as Ryan gets this thing tuned, we'll get back to the show.
But uh, come over to our table after the, the set here and uh, pick up some flyers for our festival and some other uh, great festivals around the area and uh, pick up one of our CDs. One of the last one became a million seller for us. We're mighty proud of that. Uh, we've got a million in our cellar we've got to get rid of, so uh, please stop over there and pick one up for us. We're going to get back to Pennsylvania too tonight, so we need that fuel money as well. We had a couple of requests from yesterday, and uh, if it's all right with you, I'll do both of them right now. One of them which was uh, Jones Haggard and Cash, and the other one is Mr. James, James King song. And I, I don't like to repeat songs, but I will do both of them for you right now in a row for you. And uh, we appreciate the request. And uh, This is on our new CD, like I said, Ernie, Mr. Ernie Evans produced, and uh, it's one I wrote, wrote called Jones Haggard and Cash. <laughs> Jones, Haggard, or Cat. You don't hear that kind of style, let's bring it back. Old Larry Cordo was right, there was a murder on Music Road. Oh, where did the real country go? Come on, Bill. for seeking money. Let her go. She's going to the ATM. Thank you. This song right here we're going to do for you. We have time for to do two more songs for you. For you. We're going to do this tonight a request and then we're going to let Warren take us out on this one. But uh, this is a song yesterday. I have uh, so many people came to the table and asked me about this and it's a song I wrote for James King. And uh, so must have told me it was a it was a good song. So I appreciate it very much. And I do got copies of these still left over there on the table for the single. But uh, like I said, James is one, one of the best. And I know he made his way to Florida a lot. And um, yeah, nothing like James King. So thank you so much for all these requests. And we hope you enjoy it one more time today for you. And that's one called Mr. King. It goes like this. <laughs> Wish he'd live to see 
say another day. The story tale left this world for home, but his golden voice will always stand alone. Now he's in a bed by a window, pain free, sits and sings. Mr. King He lived a hard road throughout his life But he pour out his heart on stage each night soon be known all around. The story tell left this world for home, but his golden voice will always stand alone. Now he's in a bed by a window, pain free, sits and sings. There'll never be another voice like Mr. King. He would always bring a tear to an eye. He touched so many people when he sang those mournful songs. Mr. King, you left your mark among us all. The storyteller left this world from home. There'll never be another voice like Mr. King. Oh, there'll never be another voice like Mr. King. so much. It means a lot. Thank you so much. Uh, folks, a whole lot. We're going to do one more song here. Make our way over to the table. Come on, shake and howdy with us. And uh, I invite you over there to CDs. One for 15. Anything else after that's five dollars. And we got the James King single for a couple bucks. So we appreciate it a whole lot. We'll be back again tonight at seven o'clock before we travel to 19 hours back home. So uh, we're looking forward to it. What a great crowd it is today. And I'm so happy for Ernie and everybody here at this festival. They tell me it's up at least 40% from last year. So that's wonderful to know for Bluegrass Music. So uh, keep on spreading the word. Let's keep on making it bigger. And uh, I love to see that. And uh, that's a good sign. There's no one that works harder in Florida and Georgia than Ernie and Debbie Evans. So we appreciate them a whole lot. And how about the sound crew? Doing a wonderful, wonderful job. So thank you so much. All right, well, uh, we're going to leave you here and let Warren take us out, boys, on a fiddle number. You don't see this kind of fiddle and very often at all, so towards the end of this song, make sure you pay attention, and uh, if you like what you hear, really let him hear it, and uh, we really appreciate what he does. Mr. Warren Blair is going to take us out. We'll see you at 7 o'clock, everybody, and have a great afternoon. Here we go!
I just want to remind Remington Wright of one thing. What's that, Joe? <clears throat> they have a fiddle in the band. Right? Just remember what I requested. If I don't hear it tonight, I'll burn the bus. It's not a problem. <laughs> All right, Joe. Well, and I'll I know where you. I know where you're parked. It wasn't that song that you wrote. What's that? She was born in Old Kentucky, but she's just a crumb way up here. No, that's not the one. I know which one she means. Seven o'clock. We'll get to it, Joe. So thank you so much. Okay. I brought my lighter just in case. Hmm. Okay. We have. Um, we have been having a food.